Well, good afternoon to you. Things have been building up very nicely over the last couple of days in the lead up to this game, but as you can see, the last couple of hours are a rather different story. The weather has decided not to play ball. The conditions here are a long way from ideal. It is teeming with rain, and that has left both teams contemplating very different challenges. It's almost old style. Understandable looks of concern on the faces of managers, officials, players, and fans alike. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. According to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's 4-3-3. Uh, yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively so compactness can't be compromised and you need talkers in this team you need leaders and people that are willing to organize things very quickly things have got on the way here pretty promptly Kirikesh tries to clear well hello a very warm welcome to you for this evening's game regrettably the weather has been extremely unkind to us here it is wet and blustery and remarkably inhospitable despite all of that it is good to see that the faithful from both sides have apparently been undeterred we have a terrific turnout here the atmosphere is bubbling despite these adverse conditions all we need now is for the game to live up to its initial billing One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. According to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's a 4-3-3. Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition and we're likely to witness that again you often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide and it can just throw the opposition off kilter and as you can see we've already started here well good evening to you and welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football to which we look forward immensely it's hardly a surprise that everybody has come here in their droves, this being a fixture that has received so much coverage in the days leading up to it. And it's good to see that we have a good contingent of visiting fans by the look of it too. The atmosphere is amicable, the conditions do bring out the best in everyone, and I think we're all looking forward to a feel-good game. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. Well, we've been given a lineup which suggests a 3 6 1 formation. Jim. Well, what tends to happen with a, a puzzling looking formation like this is that two of the more creative midfielders take up slightly inverted attacking roles to make it a, a simpler 3 4 3 setup or indeed 3 4 2 1. That's what should unfold here. At the moment, I admit, it does look a little strange. the whistle and here we go so Jim who would you identify as the key man in this fixture yeah Leonardo Bonucci he's as imposing as they come Peter well what a lovely lovely day absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance great consequence it looks as though we're going to have a great turnout such as being the level of enthusiasm generated once the fixture was announced there is still movement in the crowd plenty of people yet to take their seats the roads outside are very very busy particularly around this time of day this place simply a monument to the game so much prestige so much pride so much passion whenever football is played here 
according to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's 4-3-3. Uh, well, a system promoted by the rise of total football, Peter. The wider players in the front three are, are key operators in how it all works on and off the ball. They have to provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullbacks, so they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements on the bench. So it's away we go then. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Milinkovic Savic. I'll be keeping an eye on his long range shooting, Peter, because that's uh, something he does with real. Pr well, good day to you on a grey day here, which promises rain, but promises way beyond that. What should be a really good game of football. The build-up has been a little slower than usual, perhaps uh, a few traffic issues along the way that we haven't been made aware of, but we're glad to confirm that there is no longer any further problem. The crowd have come well covered up against the elements, whatever they may throw at us over the next hour or two, and the noise generated, as well as the appetite for this game, is absolutely at peak. This is one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Well, there are plenty looking forward to seeing this. A capacity crowd here. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favour of, of lots of flair skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals i suspect i've probably overstretched my my level of greed here we have already started here so jim who would you identify well hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven it doesn't get a whole lot better than this the conditions utopian the sun is high in the sky it's a truly beautiful afternoon and the crowd reflect that their faces hopeful, their smiles beaming, levels of excitement and expectation are soaring, and you get the feeling that this could be a very special occasion indeed. And here's a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages, one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. This is the lineup we've been given. How do you read it, Jim? Well, what I like about this system, Peter, is the way in which both central midfielders have to work in tandem. If one opts to go forward, the other sits, and when one moves either side to snuff out an attack, the other will, will hold the central ground. Communication is obviously vital to make it a success, but this team knows what it's doing, and I think we're going to see that reflected. Well, that's the whistle. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Well, Peter, here's a player who can contribute in so many ways, Theo Hernandez. He's shown himself to be not just an effective crosser, but capable of excellent passing from deep, as well as being a, a pretty decent finisher. Playing for the right team, he probably could get himself into double figures. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Skims one in. He's managed to pinch it off him. Now, who's going to be first to this? A decent hit! And he has been fouled there. Seto. Played out to the right. Played into the middle. Well, from experience, I can tell you, he'll get a lot of stick for getting that one wrong. Well, good evening, wherever you are on this most pleasant evening. As you can see, there's been a, a terrific atmosphere here. There is great expectation, excitement, and it has built nicely in these idyllic conditions. Conditions which are certainly playing their part in creating a glorious ambience. It's quite a struggle to get in here, points of access hard to come by, and an awful lot of people 
gathering to get through the gates, but regardless of that, there's a great feel here and much excitement for the game ahead. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. According to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's a 4-3-3. Yeah, Peter, you can look at this formation one minute and think that it is 4-3-3, and the next time you check, it'll be 4-5-1. And it's all to do with whether you've got the ball or not, and the wider attacking players being asked to apply defensive discipline too. When it does turn to a five across midfield, then the shape of this team takes on a much tidier, compact defensive look. Action has already started. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key? He's got the shot away! It's there! Listen, it's a great start, but we've seen teams surprise themselves with early goals before and sit back. They've got to avoid that. There was no getting to that, no getting to it at all. Expertly done. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it and was a good example great contact and the keeper had very little chance deadlock broken well we have the most perfect day for you a warm hello in every sense of the word the sun is out, the football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. This, of course, the fixture to which we've been looking forward so very, very much and for so very, very long. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch is pristine, the crowd basking in the sun, smiles on faces, a really good omen for the game, we hope. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. The information we've been given is that they're going to go with a 3-5-2. It's a setup that's been enjoying quite a renaissance in recent times and one that complements the counter-attack very nicely with two strikers, two wing-backs and potentially two runners from central midfield you can understand its attraction because it really can get the numbers into the opposition's box and equally it can get the numbers back into your own there's the whistle so Jim who would you identify as the key man in this fixture yeah Milinkovic Savic I'll be keeping an eye on his long-range shooting Peter because that's um, something he does with real pre well good evening wherever you are on this most pleasant evening as you can see, there's been a, a terrific atmosphere here. There is great expectation, excitement, and it has built nicely in these idyllic conditions. Conditions which are certainly playing their part in creating a glorious ambience. It's quite a struggle to get in here. Points of access, hard to come by, and an awful lot of people gathering to get through the gates. But regardless of that, there's a great feel here and much excitement for the game ahead. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Well, we've been given a lineup which suggests a 3 6 1 formation. Jim. Well, in truth, this system can very quickly transform itself into 5 4 1. The widest midfielders will certainly operate as wing backs once they have to defend. And so, either way, this seems to be a move towards the conservative and prioritizing a clean sheet but it certainly doesn't take away from what they can achieve at the other end just joining us we are already on the way nicely intercepted uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there the movement was good but the pass lacked authority uh, a cause of mild frustration
Well, what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance, great consequence. It looks as though we're going to have a great turnout, such as being the level of enthusiasm generated once the fixture was announced. There is still movement in the crowd, plenty of people yet to take their seats. The roads outside, very, very busy, particularly around this time of day. One of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest pictures. The information we've been given is that they're going to go with a 3 5 2. It's a setup that's been enjoying quite a renaissance in recent times and one that complements the counter attack very nicely with two strikers, two wing backs and potentially two runners from central midfield. You can understand its attraction because it really can get the numbers into the opposition's box and equally it can get the numbers back into your own. Just joining us, we are already on the way. So Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Well Peter. Great shot! What's your view on that goal then? Well, I thought once he got the first part of it right by getting his knee over the goal, it was always like he'd be through very low and so approved. To you and welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football to which we look forward immensely. It's hardly a surprise that everybody has come here in their droves, this being a fixture that has received so much coverage in the days leading up to it. And it's good to see that we have a good contingent of visiting fans by the look of it too. The atmosphere is amicable, the conditions do bring out the best in everyone, and I think we're all looking forward to a feel-good game. This really is a great venue, it adds so much character to every game it stages. It appears to be a 4-4-2 formation, Jim. Reminders of a, a golden era in English football, I should add. And it continues to hold its place in the modern game. Playing a second striker runs the risk of being outnumbered in midfield, of course, so with the wider pairing and fullbacks, plenty of running has to be part of their play. And, of course, the right service into the box. There's the whistle, and here we go. And searching ball down into space. Well, that had to make... Well, what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance, great consequence. It looks as though we're going to have a great turnout, such as being the level of enthusiasm generated once the fixture was announced. There is still movement in the crowd, plenty of people yet to take their seats. The roads outside are very, very busy, particularly around this time of day. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. This is the lineup we've been given. How do you read it, Jim? Well, what I like about this system, Peter, is the way in which both central midfielders have to work in tandem. If one opts to go forward, the other sits, and when one moves either side to snuff out an attack, the other will, will hold the central ground. Communication is obviously vital to make it a success, but this team knows what it's doing, and I think we're going to see that reflected. So it's away we go then. Looks to clip it forward. Well, welcome everybody to a part of the world where football really matters. There is a healthy tension, great expectation building in the lead up to kick off here. A little bit grey overhead, and indeed the forecast is for a drop or two of rain as the day grows older. 
but regardless of that, there is a lovely backdrop here. The ambience is good, smashing noise from both sets of supporters, and expectations high in both caps. One glance, and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. They appear to be shaping up in a 4-4-2 formation. Well, the modern version of that is a lot more fluid and flexible than in bygone times. There is a much greater understanding of the need for players to cover forward running, and it enables risk-taking while the gaps are filled. I'm very much a fan of it. There are a lot of people who seem to have kind of ignored it and just put it to bed, but it still works, it's still valid, and I think we're going to see it be successful here. Well, welcome everybody to a part of the world where football really matters. There is a healthy tension, great expectation building in the lead up to kick off here. A little bit grow overhead, and indeed the forecast is for a drop or two of rain as the day grows older. But regardless of that, there is a lovely backdrop here. The ambience is good, smashing noise from both sets of supporters, and expectations high in both camps. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Spal have gone with what looks like an orthodox 4-4-2, Jim. I think it gets a, a terrible raw deal these days. It's deemed old-fashioned, outdated, but in truth, with the, the right personnel, it works just as well as, as any other system or formation. Success can still be had with it, and teams are still winning big trophies with exactly this setup. There's the whistle, and here we go. With finesse, oh, it's ruffled a few feathers. 